Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to... First of all, this segment is gonna go to YouTube, so hi YouTube. Make sure after watching this video that you leave a like, subscribe and comment upon what you think. Uh, from the thoughts that I will share, will about to share and share your opinion as well. So, the topic of this video is going to be as follows. My thoughts about Bone Necro after completing Nightmare Difficulty in comparison to a Sorceress with which I played on Nightmare Difficulty. Now, keep in mind, just like comparison that I did for Normal Difficulty, it's not going to be uh, a battle of which class is better especially because with necro i have a very good slash best slot gear already needed for him like white internet crazy bonuses as well as homunculus plus mage fist you get the idea there's still some amount of uh some gear that i could improve him with like maros kaleidoscope and stone of jordan but i did not have the same thing with the sorcerer so just like in uh just like the comparison that i did i will compare just skills how efficient the skills would be that i utilized on sorceress in terms of offense and defense in comparison that skills that i utilized with bone necro in comparison to with comparison when compared uh, when compared when talking about defense and offense so once again it's not which class the class with gear better than the class without gear that's self-explanatory i'm just want to compare the spells as a whole now let me open up the spell thing so as i expected when it comes to general tankiness the very the very first thing that i want to address when it comes to general tankiness of the class necro is by far exceeds the tanking 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 capabilities of sorceress if something is gonna uh, get to you which it rarely happens but it might happen your bone armor is there to save the day i'm talking about melee monsters dangerous ones if you also can play extra save then you could use bone spirit instead in favor of your bone golem like in favor of your clay golem excuse me more often than not i hadn't been using it more often but you could use it as well like if you're playing on hardcore difficulty like something is going at you you just spam the whole screen with your bone spirit and that's pretty much it you cannot do this as a sorceress yeah your frozen armor have a chance to freeze enemies on place and you have a teleport but teleport is not until be all especially if one teleport could mean instant death if you teleport in the wrong direction so i'm not going to take it into account as being an overwhelming advantage yes in terms of going through the areas that's one thing but in terms of being tanky and being protective from the damage no it's not the case so this thing is great a great tool and yes just like i was predicting as far as nightmare difficulty goes bone necro with his defense far out uh, far exceeds something that i had uh, with my frozen orb sorceress i have used exclusively frozen orb sorceress on nightmare difficulty now when it comes to other spells uh, corpse explosion is great always will be great and it became even greater because health pool of monsters had increased and later on on hell difficulty it will allow me to deal with immunities to be more specific uh, the major problem would be something like act 5 wave 2 in bale's throne room throne of destruction that's pretty much it so nothing to add it's a great tool great instrument especially useful to make fun of those skeletons that are trying to constantly revive when you're going uh, either in act 2 or in Act 5, you know, kill Nili at Nihal Tag, or Nili Attack, whatever the case his name is. Now, as for my main instrument, Bone Spear, here's the thing. Again, the de I think that if if I would ha if I'll compare Frozen Orb versus Bone Spear, damage-wise, Bone Spear is better. Without a doubt, damage-wise, Bone Spear is better. But just like on normal difficulty, it's a spear that shots in a straight line. Yes, it pierces through all the target upon its way, and it outranges in terms of uh, the distance, the length, outranges Frozen Orb. So the damage is better, the range is better, but the area, 
area is something that I cannot say that it's felt like it's uh, the, the area of effect. It's it's like a great thing to have. So this is why typically you'll see uh, me utilizing synergistically Bone Spear with Corpse Explosion because if there's like huge group around either my Merc or my Golem or myself, it's better for me to deal area of effect damage to them with Corpse Explosion in combination with Bone Spear. Whereas with Frozen Orb, I was able to cover the pretty much the entire screen with Frozen Orb and easily kill... If not kill, then easily keep everything at bay, you know? Even the ones that have extra fast, quote-unquote, uh, properties, I could control them. I could um, keep them at bay, the ones that I am noticing. So, in that regard, I think that those spells are, like, equalizing each other. Yes, individually, Frozen Orb is a bit better in terms of area of effect in comparison to Bone Spear, which is, which has greater damage, but it's worse uh, due to having less AoE potential and uh, and it doesn't control enemies, but you typically use synergistically your Bone Spear with Corpse Explosion, so that's that. Um, some points to plus points, some slight advantage in that regard to Sorceress with her Frozen Orb. Uh, I already touched upon Bone Armor, I think it's far superior to Frozen Armor, from my point of view. Even if, like, let's say, even if uh, you exclude, even if I get someday, somehow, Enigma, uh, and I teleport into a pack of monsters, typically, yeah, see, if, if it's a very bad pack, like, huge magical damage, and uh, huge... and a vast potential of, like, cursing you, and killing you on sight with their attacks, that's one thing. Uh, but if there's, mil if there's melee pack, then you would survive longer with your Necromancer in comparison to Sorceress, from my point of view. Uh, at least how this thing already was able to mitigate incredible amount of damage where I was when I was simply leveling through the acts uh, and what else have I haven't mentioned curses honestly despite the fact that decrepify is still there and I could use it uh, I don't find on nightmare difficulty I didn't find any usage any application for it, as with, except, with a few exceptions like fighting Bale, because there's no corpses that I could explode. That's pretty much it. I, I don't know. That's why even in the builds or any kind of guides for Bone Necro, you see Decrepify being as optional choice, because first and foremost, you need to prioritize all kinds of synergistic spells that will give bonus damage to your Bone Spear, like T's, uh, like Bone Spear, that, Bone Prison that's already maxed out, like Bone Wall. So, that's that. Uh, anything else? And, yeah, a few words about Clay Golem. Yes, despite it being destroyed quicker than on normal difficulty, it's still a worthy... Oh, by the way, I could also summon <laughs> one skeleton. No, I cannot. There's a skeleton mastery, but there's no possibility for me to summon skeleton. Never mind. Uh, it's an extra target for enemies to... attack. And it's great. For you as a spellcaster, you would want to have, uh, you don't want everybody to focus on you constantly. So occasionally you can summon and resummon them. It doesn't take that much time. Uh, granted, on hell difficulty, I I would assume it's not going to be as efficient because monsters damage would skyrocket even higher, and it's better for you to simply. Close them in Bone Prison instead of trying to de-aggro them from you by summoning Clay Golem. But we shall have to wait and see about that. Uh, closing words, would I say that Bone Necro is better on Nightmare difficulty? The leveling experience it, with him is better on Nightmare difficulty in comparison to Sorceress. Uh, I'd say better in terms of defense. In terms of clear speed, they are more or less equal. Like, like I said, despite the fact that Necro is having bigger damage on Necro, he lacks uh, mobility as well uh, because of the lack of teleportation, and he also lacks the um, huge area of effect radius that you have with Frozen Orb. 
but with sorceress you are paying for it that you are not so tanky and despite the fact that you have teleports if you teleport badly which happened to me a shit ton of times already on hell difficulty um yeah you could die even on nightmare you could die so you don't have any flat damage absorption frozen armor isn't as great as bone armor so that's that so in terms of defense his pads are in terms of clear speed they are more or less equals which means when it comes to nightmare difficulty i say it's a draw i cannot like from my personal opinion i cannot say that one is clearly better than the other so that's that like i've said if you expected me to say oh the necro is going to is going to become inherently even more powerful than the sorcerers no i still love the gameplay with the sorcerers um with the exception of having to deal with immunities uh, and necro is a solid option like solid choice if you want to have something extra something way more tankier of course for hardcore i would prefer i would have preferred to play as a necro than as a sorceress again due to this bone necro due to the fact that you can just spam bone prisons bone walls hide, hide behind it have flat physical uh, damage absorption which is always great so that's that it's a draw neither of those classes have an overwhelming advantage uh, in terms of having like multiple parameters that are clearly clearly better on one class than on other some uh, necro is better in defense and sorceress is better in terms of offense and mobility necro is better in terms of defense and uh offense when you take into account cor corpse explosion yeah i can say okay okay necro is better if you want to kill cows <laughs> yes that's his uh trait with corpse explosion like you just have to find one corpse and then boom 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 like all cows are gonna be dead in a matter of seconds you don't have to you don't even have to <laughs> make sure that you hit them with spells prior to that so that's pretty much it so with that said guys this is gonna be my end of the video if you are gonna watch it in on youtube once again don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel share it and comment upon whether you agree with my opinion or you disagree whether you have something else to say about those kind of classes from my end this is going to be at the end of the video peace